Hey people, positive poll. It is Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. Ooh, 4th of July, huh? Well, well, I guess, you know, the big, big celebration, the show must go on in a nation full of Benedict Arnold's have no clue that their nation's on borrowed time. They have blood on their hands. Chickens are coming home to roost. Why is that? It's because these sad sack Satanists, these creepy chameleon Canaanites, their dirty dog Draco reptoid Hollywood hybrid hacks, sold out their children. I wonder what George Washington would be thinking if he's looking down from heaven saying, what in the hell? Why did we, t did we went through all that trouble only to have it turn out like this? He's rolling over in his grave. Ben Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams. Well, well, the rest of the world's foaming at the mouth for the Jew buck. Because they don't get it. They don't understand that America is full of sellouts. A lot of suffering before World War II. But more specifically, the mop-up operation to make sure that anyone tied to the Abrahamic blood link, the ancient Israelites, would be eliminated or at least contained. Because if these children were allowed to become adults, God-fearing adults, they would be standing in the way of these murderers, of these sodomites of this whole, these workers of iniquity, a den of thieves. Remember folks, there's no loyalty amongst thieves. These Edomite Jews, once they get in a little bit of hot water, what do they do? They sell each other out. There are no one left. What, social media is the representation of what goes on in America? Man, it, it, I tell you, it's pretty bad that they create these social media platforms to cover up their crimes against children. Ha! Huh. There's no way to explain why I'm still able to do this and be alive other than the man upstairs. And what is it going to take? Well, you know, if there's no more 4th of July celebrations, the lights go out, the shelves are empty, the cupboards are bare, then you Benedict Arnolds will wake up. But it will be too late by then because you're going to be all rounded up in these fenced off pens, right? You know, you ones that didn't take your, uh, you know what, right? Just so you could have the Jew buck. You all, you bent over, you took it, and what it's going to do is, once you did that, it's bye, bye, bye to your salvation. So while you're stuffing your face, mom, hot dogs, apple pie, and baseball this weekend, there's probably... And I'll, I'll put this number under a million because the reality is, that, hey, that's, they were slim pickings back then. But these dead children, they are going to be redeemed. No man left behind. Here, I just, here's an, another quick story. I just walked off to get a coffee. I come back. And there's this clueless older American wandering around, happens to be right on my street. I stop him. I question him. And he, he either must be a clueless, dopey American, because he knew nothing about MK Ultra. He knows nothing about these Satanists. He looked me in the eye and told me, I don't, I, I don't. And he sat there. These fucking clueless stalkers down here. He's looking for an apartment where there's no apartments to be found. And it's amazing that how could you be 
someone in your 60s and not know what MK Ultra was. See, th this, this is what the brainwashing did. And I can tell you right now, if the youth of America is supposed to be what's going to prop up this country, man, you're in big trouble. So that's why they have everybody else flood in to try to replace their phony economy and get people that will never question what is going on behind all of this, which is pure evil and it's coming to an end. So enjoy your fireworks, enjoy your hot dogs, your hamburgers, stuff your face with your barbecues, but keep in mind you're all on borrowed time.